Football is the greatest drama on earth. This is our stage, our theater. I was born into it, others were adopted, but we're all connected. If you don't believe we're family, you haven't felt what we felt. Agony, tension, heartbreak. But that moment, when it comes together just right, words cannot describe. But this isn't fiction. This is real life. Our life. The stages are real. We can feel them, experience them. They come to life. These leading men take the ball, take the man, and take their place as legends. Our heroes run through walls to ignite our imagination. An entire season changes with one kick. One bad decision, one slip. But one magic moment lives in our hearts forever. We live for these moments. We are these moments. This is more than a game. This is football. constantly being, to a certain extent, looked at as inferior. I think most people around the world don't believe that the U.S. is ready to win a World Cup. This is it then. This is the acid test. The World Cup is with us again. The foundation has been laid. Physically, we are firing on all cylinders. I've always been fearful. I've always been nervous and anxious. And because I feel like I've had some success, I embrace that now. I embrace, I, I, I like to feel that because it allows me to know that I'm about to enter into something. It won't all go perfect because it never does. But even in moments that are difficult, even if and when we go down in the game, they'll see a group of guys who are committed and, and ready to fight until the end for each other. The world is watching. Take advantage of this moment. The passion that we have and the love that we have playing for our country will shine through. You represent this whole development of soccer in this country that is just breaking through in all areas. And that's it. The United States will be playing in the last 16 of the World Cup. Nobody, and I mean nobody, believed the United States had a chance in this group. Everybody said, you have no chance. We took that chance, and we move on, and now we really want to prove a point. If we have to do it the hard way, we will, and they have. of that tournament is incredible and like to see all the different cultures there, you know, kind of coming together for all these games is absolutely amazing. And it was just all soccer all the time. We must have driven by probably 25 different fields. I've never seen anything like that. And it was like, it felt like home to me. There's pickup games everywhere all the time. There is a game every minute of every day. The joy that they bring to it, it was pretty amazing. I mean, our whole goal is to get as many people as possible to U.S. games. We had people from Seattle, Texas, Florida, L.A., in the middle, and Kansas City, a ton from Nebraska. We have people from all walks of life who have this one thing that we all share, and it, it runs deep, it really does. I went on my own, so I had never met any of these guys before. Immediately when you get on the plane, everyone's like so friendly, just excited to be going to Brazil. Everyone there had, you know, had the same exact kind of passion for the team that I have.
I was front row in the AO section and it was just it was nutty. It was nutty. That's the only way I can describe it. And 30 seconds in, Clint Dempsey scores. I never hugged someone harder, I don't think, uh, during that goal. But if we can get one of those moments, that makes it all worth it. I feel like we had at least four of those moments. That's just like a volcano of emotion throughout the entire stadium. You don't expect it, you don't know when it's coming, but when it hits, you know it. I never felt more American my entire life. It's kind of this like powerful, almost spiritual kind of thing, you know, and the players absolutely pick up on it. It was amazing. Uh, to be that far away from home, but still feel like we were making a difference, like the players could definitely hear us, and it felt like a home game. Uh, a reporter asked Jermaine Jones after the Belgium game, what, what inspired you to reach down and to put on that kind of performance at the end of the game and he said it was the chance of the USA fans coming down from the stands that, that brought it out from the team. Like that is I think is a very American trait. There's now a full team of players who we believe that we will win and that, that mantra, that, that chance uh, kind of embodies like the, the whole change of a US soccer and like the, the change in belief. I mean that's the reason we do what we do, that's the reason we all do what we do, all the fans and, and then we're hearing that from players which you know keeps us doing what we want to do. We always knew going into this that planning anything in Brazil is not easy to do, much less taking 530 people. When it's great people that you're doing it for, it makes it worth it. The camaraderie between fellow U.S. fans is like nothing else. I have a lot of hopes for U.S. soccer in the coming years. Um, it feels like a new, a new dawn kind of. It feels like we've got endless possibilities. We've got this new enthusiasm from this huge sector of people. Everything is in place for this to only explode, only to get bigger. Parks in East Texas, middle class suburbs of Kansas City, and wealthy beach towns south of LA. Who do you love? They're from Berlin, Munich, and Frankfurt. Who do you love? been an idea, elusive and hard to define. But after watching this team claw and bleed its way into the knockout round, we see something familiar. Their fathers were soldiers and truck drivers. And they play like it. Factory towns, and they play like it. They are the children of immigrants and the grandchildren of immigrants, and they play like it. The miraculous save, Tim Howard to the rescue. They are kids who grew up with nothing and kids who grew up with everything. But in the United States jersey, they are all the same, which isn't always the American reality, but is the ultimate distillation of the American dream. Oh, yes, Jimmy Jones, what a cracker! This team is a melting pot of stories, traditions, and histories. With that mix, the players are creating their own story, their own tradition, their own history. They are 23 Americans.